Hey everybody, Bill and Deb here with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Good afternoon. It is afternoon, isn't it? Yes, it is. We <laughs> haven't had we've had lunch, but we haven't had supper, so it's afternoon. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we had a thunderstorm roll in last night, actually yesterday afternoon, and up until then it was really, really hot and humid. I mean, it was brutal. But when the thunderstorm came through, and it would, and it was caused by a front that came down from the north. Uh, things changed dramatically after that didn't they yes it cooled off it was awesome last night yeah awesome fantastic in fact we got really d downright cold didn't we yes we turned the fan off yeah well turned it away from us <laughs> anyway it's only like three days and we'll have air conditioner yes three or four yes yeah today's thursday and we're getting it installed monday morning so we're getting excited about that and uh we'll be at a new campground monday afternoon so Hopefully we'll have good service there and we can go ahead and continue uh, producing videos from there If not, maybe we can go up on top of the hill where we have good service so we can at least get them uploaded But we'll see what happens once we get there. We we'll don't know because we've never been there exactly <laughs> But here's what we did today since it was so nice and uh, warm this afternoon And I know my hair all my hair that I have is so messed up right now, right? It looks gorgeous. Thank you You're welcome. <laughs> I think Anyway, since it was so nice this afternoon and the humidity was uh, way, way less than it had been in the past and the high temperature was only in the mid-80s, we went for a bike ride this afternoon and we went to one of our favorite uh, parts of the bike trail and I'm wishing now that I would have taken the GoPro with me because I could have got some really good live video shots from there. Well, not live video, but more video shots. But I did manage to catch, uh, to snap several nice photos of this particular trail and i got a few little short video clips here and there of some uh, points of interest as far as I'm concerned. And the name of this trail, now, now the thing about it is the trails we have in Northwest Arkansas, let's get this, uh, let's, let's go ahead and uh, describe the trails for those of you that are not familiar. Uh, you can literally get on your bicycle or you can walk all the way from Bentonville, Arkansas to Fayetteville, Arkansas and never have to walk on a street or a highway or ride on a street or a highway. Uh, we have dedicated trails that actually have a center line that runs right down the middle of them. They're like a little miniature paved roadway that will take you all the way. And there's a whole lot of other trails that branch, that off. branch off of there. Right. And uh, it's gonna come a time in, in the next few years because they're continually improving on these trails here. There will be a time in the next few years when someone could actually live in this area and work in a certain area and live in a certain area and never have to own a car. I mean, you, it, the, the time is coming. And you could ride your bicycle or walk yeah, safely. Right. Yeah, safely without having to worry about cars because cars want to kill you. Yes, on bicycle, they <laughs> sure do. <laughs> People on bicycles, cars want to kill you. Uh, you know, we'll still have those dyed in the wool cyclists that think they need to ride on the road. And I don't understand And we don't that, understand but... that because you can go anywhere you want to go in Northwest Arkansas on a dedicated, wonderful, paved bike trail. and Or walking trail. Or walking trail, whichever you want you to call to, it. You, you have to yeah. deal with pedestrians sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> Don't run over. And then, of course, uh, of course, we're not into that part, but we have a, a huge network of mountain bike trails as well. And from what I understand, they're getting nationally known, you know, these mountain bike trails. So uh, all over Bella Vista, Arkansas, there are these uh, really, really cool mountain bike trails. Uh, and it's just fantastic what they're doing as far as that's concerned. But the one that we went on today, and this is one of our favorites because it's in a beautiful setting. It's called the Lake Atalanta Trail. And it starts at a trailhead uh, and, and it connects to all the other trails. I mean, you can literally start here and ride clear to Fayetteville from here as long as you knew the right connection to make with the trails. But this particular trail, uh, it starts off of uh, the trailhead right off of Pleasant Ridge Road and uh, it takes you up a valley and then once you get up this valley and it's a beautiful ride going up this valley uh, you end up at Lake Atalanta and Deb uh, you know Lake Atalanta has been around ever since of course we can remember when we were kids I have a lot of fond memories of Lake Atalanta that was the original park place to be the original place to be in I Rogers spent Arkansas. lots of summer days at Lake Atlanta yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to meet you there at the skate rink and yes. I'd uh, go out there and show off on my skates <laughs> trying to impress you and all that kind of stuff and uh, you know there was a time I could jump in the air and spin around in the air and all kinds of stuff on skates and, I'd like to see you do that now uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> that would be a trick right now. But uh, anyway, I, I have fond memories of that. Of course, skating rink's gone now. They went in and changed a lot of things around. They had a beautiful little miniature golf course at one time. Uh, and they a had a pool. and a swimming pool and a restaurant and a restaurant lakeside restaurant was and there. a place you could rent paddle boats yeah on yeah. this lake on this lake so let's talk about Lake Atalanta and then we'll talk about the bike trail and you're probably seeing photos and things right now as we're talking uh, how big was is this lake dear the a lake history about is it. Uh, approximately 800 acres yeah um, it was originally put in it's called a reservoir lake which means it's a man-made dammed up lake I guess. Um, it was primarily put in in 1936. Uh, in 1948 after World War II a guy came back from the war and decided to put in a, a um, recreation area and, and, that's he, when and that's when the swimming pool, the, the skating, skating rink, rink, the miniature golf yeah. and a restaurant was all put in as well as the place you could actually go down and rent paddle boats because yeah. at one time this little lake was considered the largest body of water in northwest Arkansas. That was before they built Beaver Lake of course. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the 1950s it was the water source for the city of Rogers, Arkansas and it was that until uh, 1970 yeah. when Beaver Lake so for 20 yeah. years, it was the main water source of right. Rogers, Arkansas, is what it was, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, the way it is today, the way you're going to see the pictures, it was rebuilt in, and reopened in October of, of 2016. Okay. It, but, man, I can't believe it's I can't been believe that long. It's been three years. It <laughs> seems like to us it was just yesterday when we went down for the first time to see it after it was all done and the way it was all redone. And another thing that surprised me is the average depth of this little lake is 43 feet. And I always thought of it as a shallow little lake. So yeah. uh, it's deeper than I thought. It's approximately two miles around the lake if you walk it or ride your bike. Or yeah, just right around the lake, right? Just right around the lake. Yeah. So it uh, has a lot of history for Ar Rogers, Arkansas, and like we said, it was one of the places we hung out as teenagers and kids, and like I said, I spent a lot of days there as a kid playing in the creek, and yeah, you know, it, it was just the place to be. It was the only place to be. Yeah. But today, we took our bicycles, yeah. and we put in at Pleasant Ridge Road. You got the trailhead right there. And we rode on to Lake Atalanta and rode around Lake Atlanta. We figured we went on about a four to five mile trip. I would say it's closer to five miles. By the time you ride from the beginning of the trailhead up and ride around the lake and then come back. And now the trail itself is absolutely beautiful. You're in a heav you're in heavily wooded areas. You cross a creek several times along the way. The bridges they built uh, to cross these uh, these parts of the creek are absolutely gorgeous bridges. <laughs> They're works of art in themselves, you know. And then of course the improvements that they made at the park itself, and you can ride all through the park, all around the park. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Uh, and and the, the way they did the playground area for the children is unreal they too. They even a have a tree house. Yeah, they even have a tree house in part and of it. You know, and, yeah, uh, cool it, it's slides. Just, and um, it's just and gorgeous. It's, most of yeah. the day it's in shade. There's a little yeah. bit of time straight up noon. It's got some sun. But as a kid, and I noticed today kids are doing it still. We would go down to the little creek and wait around and, yeah. and cool off, and that's exactly what people were doing today as we yeah. rode our bikes now, through there. In the early years, you could drive all the way around the lake. Right. And then, of course, when they decided to make all these changes, the first thing they said was they were going to take that road out, you know. And at first, I was upset about that. You know, why take the road out? Because I like driving around the lake. But now, uh, what they've done with the trail, they've turned it all into a really neat bike trail or, or walking trail. It's just absolutely beautiful. And there's a boardwalk that you can branch off of in one spot. And you're probably seeing a photo of where we whirled off you know on the, the boardwalk. You the beauty of all of this? What's that? What does it cost to do this? Free. It's all free. It's all free. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't cost anything to get out there and enjoy it, and it's it's beautiful. There's restrooms along the way. There's places to stop and get a drink, water. You know, you can't bring your own water if you have, yeah. you know. But picnicking, it's it's just a beautiful little park, and it's one of the parks we enjoy riding our bikes around. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, if you come to this area, uh, bring your bicycles, and be sure and check it out. It's a really neat place to go, and it's got uh, a few average grades, I would say. Our bikes are single-speed bikes, 
and there was a couple spots where we had to, you know, be a little over aggressive, you know, to be able to climb, push, climb, to climb the but grade. But I didn't have to get off and walk. But you didn't have to get off and walk. Uh, if you've got a bike with uh, with 10 speeds, 21 speeds, or whatever, you won't have any issues whatsoever. Uh, we prefer the 10 speeds, I mean the single speeds, because it makes us have to work harder and we get a little bit harder, and, you know, and heavier workout still, because of it. It's still known as a local fishing place. Yeah. It's still, you can go there you can and go fish. go fishing there. It has, uh, I think it said six different fishing piers where you can, and right. one you got a picture of where it's Yeah, actually, yeah. You're probably seeing the picture of that pier right now or, or close to it, but that is gorgeous. And that's something new, that, that photo that I got of that today, that's something I've they've done recently, before. you know. Uh, but it's just a really, really cool place to go. You can bring your kayaks. Uh, there's a place where you can launch your kayaks uh, or a small fishing boat. They will not allow power motors, but you can uh, have a trolling motor there. Right, it's got electric uh, motors, manpower, or wind. Yeah, you can even launch a small sailboat there. So uh, uh, anyway, it's a pretty cool place to go. Yes, we highly recommend it. If you're in Northwest yeah. Arkansas, come down and check out our awesome bike trails. Yeah. And this is one of them that you're this is one of them. just see. And, uh, you know, so bring your boats too, your kayaks, uh, and uh, you can kayak in this lake. You don't have to worry about big boats making big waves around you. Uh, of course, we like to get out on the on Beaver Lake, and we like to buck the waves with the big boats, but that's a whole other story, uh, right? Right. Right. Anyway. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this presentation, and we're going to sign off for now, I guess. We're going to fix some dinner. Going to fix some dinner, and we're having beans tonight, right? Right. Beans and pork chops. Beans and pork chops. Well, pork chop that was cooked into beans, and boy, that's the best way to do it, yes. I think. No right. cornbread, though, right? No, it's not on your diet. Cornbread's not on my diet. But I like your cornbread. You know what the doctor would do. I know. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> I just come back from the doctor a couple of days ago, and he was kind of well, kind of. The doctor will never brag on me, but he no. was he was not upset with me. Let's put it that way. Well, that's because we got to continue what we're doing. Because of my vitals were all good and everything, you know. But that's a whole another story. Yes. We'll talk about that another time. Anyway, we're gonna let you all go for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, and we'll be seeing you again soon. We'll and see. we're gonna do a review, uh, a quick. Uh, we'll do a quick tour. Uh, here in the next couple of days on this campground that we're at right now and we don't mind telling you where we're at we're at Prairie Creek Campground which is just outside of Rogers uh, it's a gorgeous got campground it's got well over 100 sites here uh, but we'll uh, we'll do you we'll give you a little bit of an in-depth tour we'll try to keep it brief but we will give you a tour here in a couple of days and get it up so you can see uh, how the campground is laid out and everything for right now though here's what we have to say about what we're doing we're not camping. We're living. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. We'll see you again soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye now.